some concerns. It'll it'll work. <laughs> it might it might work. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is such a piece of junk. <laughs> Sorry. I get on. Hey, there's some wind. Oh, this is so awesome. You're welcome, everybody. We know where we're going, but we don't really care how long it takes us to get there. We are Brett and Jade Evans. We bought a wrecked sailboat at auction, then dedicated the last year to bringing her back to life. Now it's time to transform her into our off-grid floating home. Subscribe and join us as we embark on our greatest expedition yet. Now that the storm has blown over, the last thing that we needed before we set sail was a dinghy, and we just bought the cheapest dinghy. <laughs> one of the sketchier Holy deals we've made. Holy crap. One of the sketchier we've deals. We've bought a lot of things from Craigslist. I have some concerns. It'll it'll work. <laughs> it I might. Think. It might work. <laughs> we got everything that we need. I set up with our mix of oil and gasoline. Brett's our pack mule. And we're, sorry, putting your ankles in this bag. Beat me, I get it. Back okay. it is. I thought the boat's out there sailing around. That could be us. Could be. We don't know the full story of this boat, but we do know that we did not get the full story of this boat. <laughs> uh, I give it a 50-50 shot of floating. Let's see how it goes. We're fairly confident that it wasn't stolen by the person who sold it to us. I don't think he stole it. I think he just stole very dishonestly flipped it. Else. Yeah. <laughs> Sold it for somebody else. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Fill her up. Alright. I mean, it's holding there. It's ugly as sin, but. <laughs> ugly as sin. Yes. I... And I think he's gonna get us really dirty. But. But I mean, so far, it's, it's holding, holding there. there. Except floorboards. The floorboards have to go in before you pump it all the way up. We've unpumped it partially. We've unpumped it. We've pumped the air back out. <laughs> we don't actually know if this is the right way to do it. We're pretty sure it's not. We're inflated and the floor is assembled and the bench is kind of sort of in. Let's take a tour, shall we? A dinghy? The port side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have two very bad patch jobs that we know of. Got yeah, this side right here on the port side. One of the things that he did was he sprayed over the silicone patch job. He did it a couple years ago. Yeah. But it hasn't set up yet. Right. It's it's fresh as of a couple years ago. <laughs> and then the other one's down there. And that one. Again, you can see the You can hole. just see, that's, just, that's straight silicone. Like that's probably like housing silicone for your windows. It was a cheap flip. He bought it, he flipped it. He basically just sprayed the flex seal over those patches to try to kind of cover it up. And we got it cheap enough that we bought a patch kit and we'll still come out ahead yes. as long as the patches work, which they should. And it came with an engine. And if the engine actually starts, then it was worth what we paid for the whole thing. So. I think it was a pretty good deal. I think it was a good deal. <laughs> um, Fortunately, water, if, if anything happens, we have our, our oars. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Totally. <laughs> this is actually exactly how I expected this to go. <laughs> this is such a piece of junk. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there you go. All right. Cheapest thing on Facebook update. Great find. Good purchase. Thanks, hey, thanks. Pretty proud of it. Yeah. One of my better buys. It's almost as good as the sand rail. Yeah, that's, not, that's about accurate. Or Demelza. Oh, Demelza. Oh, your my, my Volkswagen Bug. That one was, yeah. <laughs> I 
like a glove. <laughs> a lot of cuts, new cuts on my hands from this venture. Apart from that outboard, right in a tetanus shot. I'm starting to break out in hives on basically my whole body from the peeling paint, I think. I'm gonna hide behind Brett because of the wind. So hopefully I can just hop right in the shower at the marina because I'm an itch. Do we have it all? We have it all, babe. Except for that one. We got all kinds of good things for the dinghy and we're gonna make this thing work. We're gonna paint it. That doesn't make it work, that just makes it look pretty. A new automatic bilge, a drain plug kit, and in case that doesn't work, we just got a regular drain plug. Nothing for the actual outboard, so we're just gonna at least not sink, that's the first step. Mm -hmm. And we got better, we got a better oar. We can figure out the rest on anchor. Yeah. That's yeah. the plan. That's the plan. So, let's go sailing. We've got wind pushing us off the dock and into our neighbor right here they're sun tanning on their boat would not be a great time to run into them we're going to come out and we need to go this way but the wind is trying to push us <laughs> into their boat something like that yeah that was a little dramatic let's do it Good. so many boats hey good Freaking job. That was awesome. That was the only thing I had that you weren't gonna be able to get on. Yeah, but I knew yeah. you had you, but I was like, I get on! Because once if I got past it, I well I couldn't step on, step on, step on. Okay, I need you to get on. I'm getting on. And then we got out of the car! Ah, it's boats everywhere! It was so good though. That was perfect. And yeah, no one was around. Except for the gold guy that I saw us and cheered us on. See it? There was a guy that was in his dinghy. And he was like, yeah, Brad! <laughs> We are going to turn off the engine because we don't need it on anymore. Oops. I forgot to see you <laughs> Okay, the wind's picking up a little bit, but we figured, why not? We're gonna start unfurling the head sail a little bit. It's the first time we're doing it for this boat, and uh, you know, you know. Just running below real quick. We are sailing along beautifully. And woo! I just wanted to come and check things out. Make sure the bilge pump hasn't run. It has not. This is the most we've ever healed in this boat. So I'm like, it's probably not very much. But it feels like a lot because we haven't done it. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so oh wow. I need to uh work on that sail trip a little bit. I love it. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm gonna need like a, a cheek decompression after this. <laughs> I've been smiling for like an hour straight. This I is like to so. Sail. I love to sail. This is great. I forgot. I got so stressed and so nervous that I forgot how much I actually love to sail. Brett's taking a turn at the helm and I am adjusting our sail shapes, bringing them in because we're headed pretty tight into the wind. We know where we're going, but we don't really care how long it takes us to get there. I think we're sailing pretty well. I'm doing great. Yeah. Everybody's handling it really well. All the dogs are having a good time. Penny's just over there chewing on her stick. Everything's going really good. Everything's going really great, actually. We're having a blast. We're kind of just enjoying the fact that we're sailing and that's it. Like, there's not much more thought to anything right now other than 
We're enjoying the fact that we're sailing. The only other thought that I'm having is that I'm really cold out on the bay. <laughs> Ooh, I need some pants because it's chilly out there. <laughs> oh, you guys. Look at my purse. I gotta get some proper sea legs. All right. It's wild down there. Has it been wild? It just... we, we have some pretty big waves. Yeah. Oh like these right here that we're about goodness. to hit. What is this? This is real life. Is this real life? The sail sheet isn't quite right on our head sail and it's because our carts need to get moved forward. So I'm doing that right now. This little, little car, little track. 8.2? 8.2? Apparently we're sailing 8.2 knots at the moment. Wait, did you miss me? 8.2, huh? Right now, 8.2. 8.2? 8.2. 8.3. 8.3. Oh, oh, oh. Once we tap, we'll be able to try the cart position out. How long till we tap? I don't know, we're doing 8.5. Are you serious? Yeah. We're cruising. We are about to our anchorage. Yeah, we're here. And the wind is about done, actually. This is where we're gonna anchor out and sleep for the night. I'm tightening up the head sail. We're gonna sail closer to the anchorage. So much that they're heavy. It's just a lot of turning. Ah, oh, you want me to have big packs, right? You're welcome, everybody. It's a little windier outside of the Dodger. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me at all. Getting ready to drop the anchor for the first time. All right, go for it. All right, go for it. Okay, we got up. Oh, we got down. Anchor is out. We we're putting on our snubber. None of our snubber stuff is here yet. So we ended up just getting a, a hook at the store the other day and we're using one of our lines. We hooked it up. Jade's doing rain dances with it slash rope workouts with really thin rope. We're gonna snub our anchor off and back down and call it a night. I think this will work. Oh, it'd be great. We had to switch it originally. Originally we were using that, which it just wasn't honestly, it's, it's everything's wrong with it. It's too small yeah. and it's too it's short. Perfect and it's too slippery so lessons learned that was like a five dollar lesson so hey that's that's good <laughs> i feel like there's got to be a better there's got to be a better way <laughs> try hey put, try put it on this side let's see if it rides over the roller yeah we can see let's see why not, why not? what else you got to do Now I'm gonna put it in reverse and back down on the anchor, which should dig it in and then set it. There we go. We're anchored. We're anchored. That was awesome. I backed down all of a sudden it was like, <laughs> stopped. <laughs> and I was back going reverse. I was like, is it working? Is it working? Then all of a sudden the boat just went, the boat went like straight and then stopped. I was like, oh. We're there. <laughs> this is the first of thousands of anchors. Yeah. Yeah. Like we were just doing it and we both like, you know, backing down, like, all right. And then it clicked like, this is the first of many. Yeah. I was up there and I looked back and the dogs were getting excited. They were playing and Brett was at the helm and all I could think was, this is my family and this is my boat. and. This is life now, and we're gonna do this. Like, it's gonna be us against the world. I mean, not that we're against the world, but like, 
<laughs> us around the world, I guess. Pretty dang special. Getting too sentimental. Anyway, we're gonna make some dinner. What do you want for dinner, Brett? Food. Okay, I think I can manage that one. Hot water. Could you have the shower quick? First shower in the boat? Yeah. Ah, Best okay. How much hot water do you think we'll have? 11 gallons. Okay. Making some sweet potatoes and some onions. Brett just threw some fish on. Grapes and peaches. Dogs are both asleep. Jealous. <laughs> Sounds nice. Uh, uh. Sorry. Oh, today was fabulous. It's late. It's eight o'clock. No, it's almost bedtime. The sunset's so late. This north. This north. On the world. <laughs> this high latitude. It's our first ever night on anchor, and we are fairly sure that we did it right, but just to be safe, we've been having alarms and waking up every single hour. Fog rolled in. All of our reference points that we had set on the coastline to know that we hadn't moved, we couldn't see them. We couldn't even see the bridge, which was just right, right there next to us. We couldn't see anything. Sorry, yawning. It's starting to burn off a little bit as the sun comes up, but you can kind of just see it now. Even 15 minutes ago, you can... I'm glad we set the anchor alarm, otherwise we would have been really stressed all night not knowing. We've been kind of over here all night, and then it started raining and the wind shifted, and now we've swung around, we're over here now. Which just means that we're facing a little bit of a different direction. Pretty cool. It's kind of beautiful. Super beautiful. Very eerie way. Should we throw the drone out? No. Good morning. I think we're awake now. The fog is lifting, burning off a little bit. We are swinging around on our anchor. We've pretty much done a 180 now. So far, we're still holding. The wind's really light, but I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. We're we're currently swinging. I mean, it's really a bizarre feeling. And Jade is prepping food. I'm just cutting onions. <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we do all the generator things at the same time. One of those things is going to be cooking the soup for lunch. So we're going to do that right now, and then we'll just warm it up on the stove later. What are you laughing at? <laughs> the bridge is passing behind you. Holy cow. We're, we're just, we're at top right now. We're just spinning around. Like a dreidel? Yep. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of place. Right now we don't have an inverter. So the only way for us to use our outlets is either the tiny little inverter right there or running the generator. And the batteries don't last more than a day. Here you go. Okay, that does look delicious. With it being our first proper sale and all, we're just reviewing the drone footage right now from yesterday, giving ourselves some self-critique. Learning this boat, this is the first time we had the head sail out. That was a whole new adventure. And then there are so many boats that it was just like, we're just gonna get it good enough and call it good for today. And it was great. And it was perfect. So See, it's fun to now look back and be like, okay. Yeah. And every, we went eight knots. Yeah, we were doing eight knots with not very well trimmed sails. I know, it makes so. me wonder what we could do if we had better uh, sail technique. So look at that too. Good flying, Brett. Thank you. We just roll the dinghy out so we can start getting it fixed. Now it's time to replace those parts and see if it'll float. Nice. So far, so good. Jay's putting on the gaskets on our new Outflow valve, whatever you want to call it. I just put in the new locking mechanism and I'm screwing our little strainer on now. The screws are a little short though. My... Many longer screws? I 
think that'll work. Holding air, now we need to throw in the water and see if it floats. Oh, you're so brave! Going. Going. Floating great. It doesn't look like it's leaking. We might be counting chickens, but it's floating. It's still floating. No water has gotten in. No air has gotten out. Next step in the project is to clean that yuckiness out of that boat. It is nasty to touch and it makes you itchy. I don't know what they painted it with. I'm gonna give it a really, really, really dedicated scrub. While I do that, Brett's gonna see if he can get this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it a little bit. I don't have really, any, I don't have any parts. Okay, I'll just open it up a little bit and see what I can see. I took off the covering on the top side. It all looks pretty good, actually, pretty clean. And so I started tearing into the bottom side to see about getting to the water pump. But what I didn't realize is that to get to the water pump in here, you have to split this case. And I don't have, I don't have a new pump or a new gasket. So I really don't want to open it up just to look at it because there's a chance that if I open it up and it's still good, I still have to replace those gaskets most likely. we will probably just run it for a little while and see if it starts getting hot, if it starts getting too hot and doesn't, isn't cooling down at all, then we'll just shut it down. That's pretty freaking clean, or at least a lot cleaner than it was before. It's still kind of nasty, but progress has been made. Brett, can we get a status update from you? Um, I found some nastiness under here. We'll, we'll see what's going on here and I'll, I'll let you know later. The next step for me is to jump back on the dinghy and see if I can get some of that flaking paint to flake all the way off to give us a fresh canvas for some new paint. I end up taking the power sander to it with a really fine sandpaper and it looks fabulous. It looks terrible, but it looks like it's ready for a new coat of paint. Brett just washed it again and now he's manually building out all the water from rinsing it off. Potentially leaking more. It's hard to know because we keep getting it wet. So we'll, we'll find out later and report back. But in the meantime, we're going to give it a go. The beach is over there. It's getting kind of stormy. Put the life jackets on the dogs. We're gonna try this thing out, just in case. Okay. <laughs> We're almost there. Our first ever dinghy ride from our boat to the beach. That was really far away. The dinghy worked, kind of. It got us here. We found That's all leak. that matters. Yeah, we found an A-leak. De definitely is taking the A-leak. <laughs> yeah, at least now we know. Yeah. It's not through the piece we just replaced, though. So that was leaking, though. That was leaking, now it's not. So, you know, we're making progress. One small step for dinghy. No. I don't think that's what it was. I don't know what I'll lift it up here and We'll drain that water out and it'll get us back to the boat, no problem. Got it. Good boy. All right, Loper. Get in the boat. Let's go. Good girl. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> the boat's starting to look a lot farther away. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and we'll see you here again next week. It's true, she's currently sailing, so she can't come to the phone right now. Um, <laughs> Brett's making me hang off the back of the boat. Jay's doing dangerous things right now. She'll, she'll have to talk to you later. spotted a wild dingo. There he is. In his natural habitat. Doing what dingoes love best. <gasps> I spooked him. Back away slowly, he won't eat me.